I'm going to show you how to activate your feminine energy to attract high value masculine men. If you deploy these triggers that I'm about to show you, these simple but powerful little triggers that you can do today, then you'll dramatically see a difference in the way men respond to you in how energetic they are to pursue you, the effort that they put into you and how much they want to see you on another date. The first thing I want to mention before I get into the tips is you will not attract everyone. Okay. You will not attract everyone. You don't want to attract everyone. And what makes you highly, highly magnetic is actually your uniqueness. You bringing your own flavor, your own version, your own take on these qualities I'm about to list is what make, will make you highly magnetic to your person. Okay. And you want to really understand when you are being highly magnetic, you will repel a lot of people too. The first thing I want to talk about that is really, really important to the feminine energy is getting into flow. Visualize waves. Think 80, 20. You want to think asymmetrical. Okay. The feminine energy is very up and down. It's not a straight line. It's not like consistent, um, predictable, right? It it kind of molds itself to the environment, right? Goes with the flow, okay? So the first way that you can activate your feminine energy is to move your hips, okay? You wanna move your hips from side to side, right? Feel the weight distribution in your legs, have weight more in one side, one leg than the other. Also notice when you do that, your shoulders move up and down too, right? You wanna move your shoulders up and down, you want to move your neck also, right? Notice nothing is balanced. Nothing is symmetrical where we're kind of like, there's this curve, right? There's this natural, beautiful curve that us women have. We want to accentuate that curve in the body. And you notice too, when you start moving, you naturally slow down a little bit, right? Because it takes a bit of, a bit of effort to, to like move like that. The second tip is to have an open body language. So we, our most vulnerable part to us is our chest and our stomach. So what a lot of us do when we feel uncomfortable is we want to cover ourselves up, right? We want to cross our arms, cross our legs, right? Um, you know, hold up a book or something in front of us, hold up a drink in front of us as kind of a shield. And you want to do the opposite, deliberately do the opposite. So shoulders back, chest exposed, stomach exposed, arms exposing your wrists like that. Have your hands out, outward like that, exposing your neck. Okay. Having your hair down, <laughs> right? Can you feel more in flow when your hair's down? And if you like having your hair up, that's fine too. I like wearing these like long dangly earrings, right? So when your hair's up, you can still have flow because the having um, accessories kind of is a reminder to when you, because when you move your head, you can feel it. You can feel your jewelry kind of hitting you. And that also just is a little reminder that, you, oh yeah, I need to, I need to be moving, right? I need to move my head <laughs> and, my, and my shoulders and relax them a little bit, right? Next tip is slow down to activate your senses. When you're putting on your makeup, getting ready, you want to deliberately do it slowly. So when you're doing it slowly, you start to notice things that you didn't notice before. So um, you know, like even if you're like rubbing your hands together like this and you're touching, um, like for me, I can feel my hands are a little bit callous. <laughs> they're a little and they're a little bit sweaty. And then when I feel my legs, it's a bit dry. So then I, it makes me think, oh, maybe I should put some moisturizer on. I noticed these things because I slowed my movements down. I started paying attention to them. When you slow down, you really notice what things bring you joy and what doesn't. Five senses are touch, sight, smell, taste, and hearing. You just wanna pick one of those things at a time just to pay attention to. So for example, I notice my desk is a little bit messy. 
right, a little bit messy. So I may want to clean it up and tidy it up. I also noticed that I have a mug that I quite like in the corner there, right? So maybe I'll focus on that mug because I really like that. And the, the goal of this is when you start to really notice how things make you feel, the senses around you that make you feel, it makes you just make these little micro adjustments to your environment that make you feel better, that make you feel more joyful, okay? And the feminine energy is all about feelings and feeling good and feeling joy and feeling pretty. And you can't do that if you're not paying attention to how you feel right now. Some people are more into one sensation than the other. I am a visual person. I like things that look clean and tidy and look pretty. So those are the things I may want to adjust first. Whereas someone else may be more of a smell like person that they like notice my sister is very much into smell. She likes putting on perfume and having shampoo or moisturizers that smell really nice. Personally, I don't, it doesn't bother me as much, but she really likes that. When you pay attention to how you feel and you kind of experiment with different things, with jewelry, with um, smell, right, with different fabric and dresses, you get to start to understand what works for you, what makes you feel good. And that's the biggest key thing here. Think minimal and be selective. It's much better to have one thing that brings you joy than five different things that, you know, maybe brings you joy, but you're, it's just too many things. The next tip is to observe your environment. The feminine energy, because she is in flow and going with the flow, she has to be in tuned with the environment, with the energy of the room. She needs to be able to read the room. So as soon as you walk into a space, notice the environment around you, look at what people are doing. A good way to kind of practice this is just going to a park with a coffee and people watching just observing people. Guess what people may be feeling and thinking based just on appearance, right? Based on their body language, the vibe that they're giving you. And then you kind of think, okay, I feel like this person's like this kind of energy, this kind of vibe, right? So then you know kind of how to match it, how to mirror them. Same with if you're meeting a man, you want to pay attention to what is his body language telling you um, instead of paying attention to the words he may be saying. The next tip is to match his energy. Let's say you're on a date with a man and you notice he leans forward. You also want to then lean forward, right? If he goes and takes a sip of his drink, you also may want to grab a sip of your drink. Okay, match him, mirror him. Notice what kind of communicator he is. Some people are more sharers, like they, they tend to just share what they've been up to, what they've done for the day, for the week. They don't ask a lot of questions about you. So if you meet a man and he is a sharer, then you also want to mirror him by sharing. Instead of asking him questions, you want to then share something about yourself, about your day, week, doing what he's doing. This is so you get into flow, right? You wanna be in flow, you wanna be matching the energy, the vibe of the room of the person that you are with. When you do this, you lower the other person's guard and make him make them open up more. So the last tip I'm going to give you is leaning back. So leaning back can be physically leaning back. So say you're sitting down in a chair, then you would just lean back like this in your chair. Or if you're standing, you can take one step back and put all your weight on that leg. You kind of just lean on that leg. And leaning back could also be deliberately letting the conversation die. So he asks you a question, you answer the question or you share something about yourself and then that's it. You do not ask him another question. You just drop the conversation there, be quiet, be silent, and then watch what he does. Okay, leaning back requires a leaning in to silence. 
to discomfort. You know, you have to allow that silence, that awkward silence to be there in order to lean back. Watch, does he pick it up? Does he initiate the next topic or ask you a question? Does he keep the conversation going? Does he come up with more things to talk about? A masculine man who is attracted to you, who's interested in you, he will do, he will come up with something. He will be like struggling to come up with things, but that's what he's doing. That silence is needed for him to figure out, okay, what should I say next? What should I do next? Right? What can I do to impress her? And you want to give him that chance. So that's some simple ways to activate your feminine energy and attract high value masculine men. Next week, I'm going to share more advanced ways to activate your feminine energy and get a man chasing you and pursuing you and dying to take you out on another date. You'll definitely want to check out that video next week.